In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add this extra battery to your SU8 fat tire e-bike. All these components are plug and play. There's no cutting or splicing of wires. All of these components can be sourced above and below in the description, and it's easy to install. Only a few minutes. I'll show you step by step how to do this, and I'll go over the components now. This is a 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery. It comes with its own charger. It has its own charge port that you can see here, and then an XT60 connector. This is a battery combiner. This is a 30 amp battery combiner that's good for 20 to 72 volts. And it has two inputs for the two different batteries and one output. There's an extension cable to run this to where the controller is located under the seat. And this is an optional switch. What I like to do is ride out on the factory battery. When it gets down to one or two bars on the battery, I flick on the extra battery and then I know I can make it home. So without further ado, let's get started on the install. You're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to remove four nuts under the seat, and then the seat easily gets removed. They're attached here, and then that exposes the controller. Now the controller sits in here. This is where I'm also gonna store the battery combiner, and I'll show you that in detail. With the seat removed, you can see the compartment that houses the controller. This is the 52 volt version with 25 amp output, but the same installation applies to the 48 volt version. Here is the XT60 connector. The first thing I want to do is remove the battery and de energize the system. Next thing I want to do is disconnect the controller and the battery right here at the XT60 connectors. Then I want to grab my battery combiner. Now this battery combiner is foolproof and you'll see here that there's two male connectors and one female. These are the two batteries. It doesn't matter which one you connect and this goes to the controller. So you'll see that it's foolproof. This cable will plug right into what's going into the controller. And then any one of these to the battery, I'm going to hook the battery, the factory battery to this connection. And then what I'll do is the extra battery will connect to this empty connector. I'm going to find a piece of foam that I can put in here so that this doesn't rattle around when I'm riding. Next, we're going to install the extra battery and its cables. Now, there's a variety of places you could put this extra battery. You could try to put it back here, but it'll probably get squeezed with the suspension. You might be able to squeeze it in here but that's still dangerous as the rear trailing arm. The best place, in my opinion, is to put it up here, and it will look like an extra fuel tank, almost like on a retro bike. So you'll use these Velcro straps, and you'll attach it to the frame. This goes to the headset up here. It's gonna be kind of upside down. What I'm gonna do for the time being is I'm gonna tuck the charge cable in so it's not dangling out since I fully charged this before I did the install. Now this battery is 10 amp hours. It's 48 volts, it's mixed with 52. It'll be able to handle it. If you have the 48 volt version, it'll be the same. But the benefit to this is it'll give you about a 12 to 25 mile range depending on your pedal assist modes. So combined, you should be able to get at least 40 or 50 miles out of this bike. So it'll really increase the range uh, quite a bit by having this set up. Let's make sure the seat will still fit on here. Oh yeah, no problem. All right, so you have this cable here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to route it down and utilize these Velcro straps to secure it. But before I do, I'm going to put this extension cable in like that. And then what I'm going to do is route the switch under here. And then this will allow me to toggle this on and kind of hide the switch under the seat here. So I'm going to pass the switch through here there is a zip tie attachment right here i think i'm going to put that switch about like there route this through here go ahead 
What I'm gonna do is make sure that this is in the off position. And then I'm going to plug it in here like that. You can see it like this. Now I can go ahead. I'm gonna route this underneath like that. There we have it. Got this. I'm gonna secure that with zip ties and then I can toggle that on as needed. But let's go ahead and check everything before I put the seat back on. Before we install the seat, I'm gonna test everything. So I'm gonna first start with the factory battery. I'm gonna turn the factory battery on, making sure that the extra battery is in the off position. And then I'm going to turn the screen on. I'm gonna go up to pedal assist mode five. And you can see that it got the 37 miles per hour. This is the 52 volt version. And so it gets to 37 miles per hour. That's without a rider. With a rider, it gets to about 33 miles per hour. So I'm going to shut that off. You're going to see that the screen shuts off. I'm going to turn on the extra battery. Sometimes you see a little bit of a spark there. And then I'm going to turn the screen back on. I'm going to go to pedal assist mode 5. Now it should be a little bit slower because this is a 48 volt battery. It's the 34 miles per hour, but still very respectable. So now it's running strictly on the extra battery. Now what I'm going to do is shut that off and you'll see the screen goes off. And I want to try both batteries at the same time. So I'm turning on both of them. I'm going to turn the screen on. I'm going to go to pedal assist mode five. And now should be able to get to 37 miles per hour. No problem. Now that we so, tested everything, let's get this bike out on the road and test the top speeds with both batteries. So we're going to do some speed runs here. We're going to first go out on the factory battery, then we'll come back on the extra battery, then we'll do one with the combined battery. So let's get after it on this straightaway. There's no one out here. It's a little blustery today, but let's see how it does. We're just on the factory battery. There is no extra battery. So let's see what we got here. We're in pedal assist mode five, no pedaling. Got a little bit of a headwind. up to 30 no problems starting to rain all right we're gonna switch over to the extra battery which is a 48 volt the stock one's 52 volts on this this bike comes in a 52 volt version and a 48 volt version let's see how this does pedal assist mode five here on this long straightaway this will be no pedaling quite as torquey with the 52 volt battery but still respectable it's kind of like having a reserve tank on your motorcycle top speed still respectable I'm at 29 it, it looks like it won't hit 30 but I'm still happy with that that'll definitely get me home I can feel it's a little bit slower but I'm pretty impressed with that this will definitely give me about a 15 to 25 mile extra range depending on my speed. Alright, 
So I'm going to turn around here. I'm going to go back and let's see. I'm still on that extra battery. I'm going to turn on the factory battery and see what my speed increase. I'm holding steady into the wind about 27 miles per hour. Flip on the extra battery. Definitely starting to increase speed as the voltage gets kicked up. Yeah, now I can do up to 30. So, looks like the impact on having the stock battery on is between the extra battery is about two miles per hour, but that's fine. If you have the 48 volt version, it won't matter. It'll be the same. I hope that you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Thanks for watching.